This is the only Kumanara I have and is Kumanara Katanti Solo Flat. I got this from a, a raffle table at the society meeting two years ago and I put this into this six inch pot and never thought I'm going to see a flower spike out of it. And here's the flower spike. It doesn't get much sun in here. But it's, I make a mistake of potting it into a, a pretty big pot. All it does is just grow bulbs. You see the bulbs on this side. It has bulbs all over the place. It was growing a bulbs right about that. That bulb, I think it's from this back bulb and it's aborted. And all the bulb grow is this side. It even have a bulb growing from underneath this bulb. I was thought this one will grow flower spike if anything, if there's going to be a flower spike. But it grow this new another bulbs kind of floating out of the pot here. And then this bulb came up really fast too it grow really fast too and then it grow this flowers but if you like to see what the flower lo looks like you can look at chris aka poopsy uh, video she made one and i guarantee her bloom will be much better than mine because she has the california sun but uh, her Kumanara is the same intergeneric cross, but the name is different. The name is uh, Pacific Sunspot, Kumanara Pacific Sunspot, if, if I remember correctly. As a matter of fact, if you Google this, this name, Kumanara Katanti so Solar Flare, her video will come up. Google knows, you know. They know that they did the same thing. It's kind of scary. I, I was think, one of these day you cook a Roy Plant Dharma and my face will come up. That is a scary thought. Anyway, I have a few. This is the Miltonia. You you see that before, and that's flower spice. This, and you see this, this is the Morris chestnut. There's a, uh, I have four Miltonia here that they are going to bloom this spring. I see flower spike here and there. If he's looking at that one, there's a flower spike coming. Just can't get it to. Bike. And that is Leonard Carr Gottling. You all see the the bloom on this before, and this one has this one has a flower spike. This is oh, Rick Sandia Horticulture. Let's see. And I have video on the bloom. Um, and this one is just a flower spot. And this is Miltonia Breastless Florence. I have at least two more that I bought like last year but it did not bloom last year but it put out the flower spike and i'll make the video on that 
and this one somebody asked me this this is a type of crowbar and go this one asked me about uh, how how is this one doing I made a video on this I didn't talk in the video I just I have the the music on it and it is if you watch that video and see this two bulb was plumb well when I, I report it and then it shrivel 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 and then it after they grow these two here it's feedback and it plumb up and this one put out a flower spike bloom last fall and it's growing uh, right now this one did not oh yeah this one did did put out flower spike too i don't remember I have too many um and they both grow grow new bulbs now and if you're looking at this when see when you put first report it's hard to get it established and you have to stake it i have to stake it once it established you should be able to pick grab the bulb and pulling it up like this and when it established like this you don't need to report it if any orchid or whether it's um, whether it's the catalea or dendrobium or whatever it's it's mean it's have roots growing there and it tightly bound inside there and it's fine now it, it will go through a cycle like this first you have to stake it it loose it, it you, pull, you pull too hard it more likely come up and then um, then it will be tight like this you don't have to you don't have to go report it now the next what happened is the bark start getting uh, breaking down and it getting loose and it, it may get to a point where it start to actually when the bark was breaking down originally that's when your orchid will get the most nutrient from the breaking down of the bark but it, it will reach a point where the acid built up so that the pH of the media drop below 4 once it drop below 4 it start killing roots because roots will start die at that pH level then roots start to die and the bark will blow, be loose and when you grab this and you pull up it will come come out of the pot well you you can feel it when when it start to feel loose that's when you need to report it and when it come right out of the pot you really uh, overdo for reporting <coughs> now this one the same thing with this kumanara it's been reported two years ago and you can see this is in a six inch pot very very difficult to to get it stuffed and and stay in there and you can see this is when you don't need to report it you can pick it up grab the bulb and you just pull and pick it up this is tight it is the root is tight this is uh um when you don't need to report it it's uh, i don't mess with perfection you know nature is perfect they all have the roots go in there and bound itself to the pot you don't need to report and it will pass some point it start to come loose then you need to report that thank you for watching